Let's quickly have a conversation about how to create a Shopify store for your t-shirt. Of course, I'm speaking about print on demand. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, grab a piece of the pie, the $10 billion pie that represents the t-shirt printed industry by 2025. And I'm going to show you step by step how to create a Shopify store for your t-shirt. First thing you need to do is to pick a niche. Obviously you need to register on Shopify first. So you go to shopify.com. If you already have, if you, if you don't have an account, go to the platform and sign up and you have to choose their 14 day free trial. Okay. Test out the system for 14 days. And if you're comfortable with the platform, then sign up for real. And after that, you need to choose a niche for your t-shirt online business. It's very important that any place where you can grab ideas, you can get inspiration about the niche, the kind of niche you want to go after, go for it. There are a couple of places that you need to, you can look at. One thing that's very important the bottom line here is you need to differentiate yourself. The market is very competitive. There is stiff competition. There are, there are thousands of uh, t-shirt designers out there. And if you want to actually stand out of, uh, out of the pack, you gotta be very original here. For example, as you can see on the screen, you can go after dog owners. You can go after doctors, nurses, Mets fans, Yankees fans, whatever it is. You, the, the more specialized you are, the more niche down you are, the better. So for instance, you can also visit your prospective niches subreddit and evaluate the subscriber count and level of engagement. You can use Facebook's audience insight tool to gauge the size of your niche on the platform. Actually, it's not Facebook's anymore, it's Meta's. And you, you can also scan, you can go on Wikipedia, for instance, to scan the list of popular hobbies for inspiration. You can consider your own interests and the communities you belong to. Sometimes it's okay to trust your gut. Okay, so once you actually narrow down your niche, you wanna create a business plan for your t-shirt selling business that covers your goals and different opportunities to sell custom t-shirts Okay, so after doing that, you can figure out how you'll execute that plan. Step number two, you want to source quality. Quality is important, folks. You want to source quality material and t-shirt printing options. This is important because once you uh, actually have thought about your niche, you're comfortable with the niche, you know it's a profitable niche, you need to monetize. But to mon before you monetize, you need to find the perfect t-shirt blank. This is an extremely important decision. With so many different options for t-shirt blanks out there, choosing the one that to best fit your brain can be an intimidating and difficult decision. Some of the aspects you wanna consider are things like fabric, the quality, the fit, the sizes, and colors. Okay, here are some providers that you can actually um, you can check out if you're interested. So we have alternative apparel. So this is kind of cool. This is a great uh, player and they actually, uh, their quality fit sizes are good. For example, in terms of sizes, they have a nice selection of sizes ranging from extra small to three X. And, uh, in terms of colors, they also have great colors. So for instance, the AA 1070 blank comes with 25 color options for you to choose from. We also have, uh, all style all style is kind of cool too they have great quality great fit great sizes great colors for instance the 1901 adult short sleeve tee this is very very wonderful you also have the 5301 men's fun jersey fitted tee great quality as well and if we move on here we also have the american apparel in terms of quality they are there they are very wonderful also we love particularly the 2001 here you have a fine jersey, 100% cotton blank with a slim fit. We also love the TR401, fantastic. You have a nice blend of uh, polyester, cotton, and rayon. Fit, sizes, and colors are fantastic. We also have uh, another supplier, another provider, Envil. Okay, quality is great, fit is great, sizes are great, 
colors are great and you can use anvil for your brain for instance wholesale blanks anvil 980 bulk printing anvil 980 the thread bird and print on demand anvil 980 printful we also have uh, Gildan, fantastic quality fit sizes colors we have Taltex. And Taltex is kind of cool too in terms of quality, fit, sizes. For, for instance, with the Taltex, the Taltex 0202 has one of the nicest fits around. Again, it's always a matter of opinion and, and body type when discussing t-shirt fits, right? So this is something you need to think about. The sizes are good, colors are great. The bottom line here is you want to source quality. Don't go for any, anything cheap because at the end of the day, you might probably make a few dollars at the beginning, but if the quality is very, very low, People will actually, in terms of brand loyalty, in terms of customer loyalty, you're going to lose a lot of customers. So always source quality. Step number three, you want to create designs. Now, I'm not saying that you can do it yourself. If you are good at it, go ahead and do it. But you need to come up with your own t-shirt design because otherwise you will be actually uh, copying somebody. You will be plagiarizing somebody else's design. And there are consequences in terms of intellectual property theft. You don't want you, you don't want to go there. Okay. So in terms of creating your own t-shirt designs, there are a lot of ways you can do this. For instance, you can find the best selling designs and niches. So if you're stuck for t-shirt niche ideas and uh, designs, you can look at what's currently selling. Go on platforms such as Zazzle, Redbubble, Snork Tees. And you can also look at Kickstarter t-shirt campaigns. Okay, this is kind of cool. You may also want to consider checking out Google Trends so you can have an idea of the topics people are currently interested in, in terms of you can get a, also inspiration for your t-shirt online business. So you can find the best selling designs and niches online. You can even hire a designer. So once you have an idea for some t-shirt design, you're going to have to actually design them. So if you have Adobe Photoshop, for instance, or a similar program, you can produce some great designs by yourself. That is, if you have the knack for that kind of work, if not hire someone. OK, and there are design communities out there. For example, we love Dribble. So this is a designer community with lots of unique talents. You can search for the style you're looking for and message the designers you like to see if they're available for freelance projects. You can also go to Behance. This is another cool platform to check out. You can see portfolios from different creators around the world who specialize in illustrations, niches, and styles and more. Okay. You can also check out the freelance networks. Okay. For example, you can go to, you can go to freelancer.com. You can check out Upwork. You can find qualified t-shirt designers fast, and you can also uh, see their prices, their, their work. That's kind of cool. And one thing I also want to say here is that you can even buy t-shirt designs. So already made t-shirt designs. For example, you can go to designers. Okay, so designers sell vector packs and PND t-shirt designs. Also clip art to create your own products. We have t-shirt factory, which offers a variety of vector images from old school to punk rave and urban styles for t-shirt printing businesses. You have creative markets which doesn't focus exclusively on t-shirt, but you can find over three to five million unique fonts, graphics, themes, photos, and templates designed by independent creators from around the world. And you also have Graphic River. And here you can actually buy and sell royalty free Photoshop files, vectors, and icon packs for your t-shirt designs. So here you have it. All right. One thing I need to say very clearly here is that if you want to know how to make an online t-shirt business, you may need to purchase a commercial license on those uh, websites. Step number four, you want to mock up. You need to mock up your t-shirt. This is very important because once you have some final designs, you got to start looking at the mockups because mockups are helpful. They're very helpful because your customers can see what the final design will look like printed on a t-shirt. Okay. There are a few ways you can get images of your final t-shirts on your final uh, designs on t-shirts, including ordering samples and taking product photography yourself. Okay. So this is kind of cool. Or you can actually look at uh, t-shirt mockups and templates online. 
okay this is important so for instance if adobe photoshop you can even use adobe, adobe photoshop so adobe photoshop t-shirt templates are the most common types of uh, markup files and uh, if adobe is not right for you you can also use web-based markup software that will let you do the same thing without having to download and figure out photoshop for example you have uh, the printful mockup generator you have the printify mockup generator and you also have place it okay another great option for a text like this is to actually enlist help from someone on fiverr right so on fiverr just search for t-shirt mockups so once you mock up your t-shirt please remember to always validate the designs for your t-shirts online business this is important because the, the last thing you want is come up with something that looks great to you, but that the market says like, mm -mm, we don't like it. You need to validate that. And there are several ways you can validate it. You can validate the t-shirt design through your personal social networks. You can actually go to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is a great one, Twitter. You can also go to the Reddit. So despite the community's general aversion to marketing, Reddit is still one of the best places to get honest feedback on your designs. Okay. Think about crowdfunding sites also, and also print on demand with e-commerce platforms like Shopify. It's never been easier to set up a fully functional online store, the main name included in a matter of hours to validate your business idea. Okay. As I was telling you earlier at the beginning of the show, you can actually start a 14 day free trial and integrate a print on demand service to validate your t-shirts by trying to sell them online. So once you have that, once you mock up your, your t-shirts and validated the designs for your t-shirt online business, it's a time now to set up your online store. Okay. There are a variety of uh, t-shirts available through the following print on demand companies. Printful, T-Launch, Printify, and Guten. I'll speak about that a little one. So the, the thing is, once you, once your store is set up, you'll be ready to start selling t-shirts online as, as soon as possible. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about how to create a Shopify store. Of course, we are speaking about print on demand. Step number one, pick a niche. Number two, source quality. Number three, create designs. Number four, you want to mock up. Number five, you want to focus on basics. It's very important that every business, whether it is a t-shirt business or just a regular business, you need to think about some basics. So there are five considerations that you need to consider that, that you need to think about when starting a t-shirt business. You want to think about t-shirt printing techniques, design, quality, brain, and inventory. Let me repeat that. T-shirt printing techniques, design, quality, brain, inventory. Those five elements are very important. Let's talk about t-shirt printing techniques first. So when it comes to printing techniques, you have a screen printing. So screen printing is an old technique that has stood the test of time for business owners who design and sell t-shirts online and in store. And it's very cost effective for large batches, a large batches. You have volume discounts, but the cons is not so cost effective for multiple colors and you can only print simple images and designs. Then you have a heat transfer. Heat transfers have been around for a long time and exist in several forms. You may have seen basic heat transfer paper at your local office or supply store. So the pros, you can actually print each shirt on demand, more affordable for small batches, no limit in number of colors you can use in a print. What about the cons? Lower quality and less durable than direct to garment and screen printing, a large upfront investment in a heat press machine. The do it yourself approach means additional time input for you. Third category have the direct to garment DTG. So this operates much like an inkjet printer you might have at home. It's a common type of t-shirt print business equipment because it prints ink directly onto the t-shirt and can produce full color images with the accuracy. What about the pros here? You have unlimited color options, high detail accuracy in printed design, great for small orders or one-offs and no setup cost. 
and the cons not so cost effective for large production runs and no volume discounts. So that's for the, uh, the printing techniques. Then you need to think about the design. The design, I just talked about it, right? You have to either hire someone or come up with a design yourself. Also, th I, I spoke about the quality of the t-shirt. The brand, now the brand is important. You need to set up your brand. When I'm speaking about brand, I'm speaking about having a, your Shopify store, having a website if needed, thinking about the logo, thinking about anything that revolves around your brand that makes your designs, that make your t-shirt unique. And you need, you need to think about inventory, right? You can either opt to buy and hold inventory, take advantage of bulk pricing and local printers, or use a print on demand service to take inventory management and shipping off your plate. You can also opt for a mix of both, okay? Speaking about print of demand, based on our analysis, it's a lot better to actually outsource the inventory, all this kind of stuff to a print on demand service. Honestly, it's just a lot better. So t-shirts are one of the most common products for businesses fulfilling via print on demand because you can actually um, sell a lot. There is no inventory is not really that heavy and there are other stuff. Having said that, competition is stiff. So we have actually uh, reviewed a few print on demand uh, suppliers on this show before and I'm going to look at them again. And uh, the first one is Printful. So Printful has uh, a lot of products you can choose from and they are based in their shipping location is in Toronto, Canada. They have, they have uh, warehouses in uh, Los Angeles and Charlotte, North Carolina, in Mexico and Texas. And the cost of the low price tea is, is about $8. They do have a mock-up generator and they have e-commerce integrations with Shopify, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, ShipStation, Wix, Squarespace, and so on and so forth. Next you have Printify. Printify has more than 300 print-on-demand products, shirts being one of them. So you can, you can choose from tees, tanks, and hoodies in a variety of colors, okay? And integrations include Shopify, of course, Etsy, eBay, PrestaShop, and more as well as an open API. And the cost of the low priced T is $6.55. They do have a mock-up generator. Now we have AOP Plus, Easy Print On Demand. And this is actually an app for Shopify and Etsy with more than 200 print on demand products. Okay, and what really sets AOP Plus apart is the fact that it's also the manufacturer. So you can, you can work with it directly to develop custom shirts. And this option is especially great for white labeling. And the cost of the low price tea is a little expensive, $8.99. They, they don't have a mock-up generator, okay? So something you need to know. And we do have Applique. And uh, Applique has a whole range of products, including several types of shirts. And uh, the cost of the low price tea is $3. They do have shipping locations in Los Angeles and Philadelphia. They don't have a mock-up generator, but they have e-commerce integrations with Shopify and WooCommerce. Then we have Tea Lunch. T-Lunch is a great player also. They're, they have shipping locations in the US, Canada, and the UK. The cost of the low price tea is $5. They don't have, an, they don't have a mock-up generator. And they have e-commerce integrations with Shopify and Etsy. And we also have Spod. And Spod is a Shopify print-on-demand app that offers over 100 different types of products with a wide range of shirts, style for men, women, kids, and babies. And the cost of low price tea is $6.71. They do have a mock-up generator and they have e-commerce integrations with Shopify. We also have Custom Cat. The cost of a low price tea is $7. They don't have a mock-up generator, but they do integrate very well with Shopify, Etsy, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Custom Cat API. And last but not the least, we have also here T-Pop. And uh, T-Pop is a kind of ecologically conscious print-on-demand service. They're based in France. And the, the, cost, of the, uh, the, uh, the cost of the low price tea is $12, $12, $13. They don't have a mock-up generator, but they do have e-commerce integrations with Shopify, WooCommerce, and Etsy. Step number seven, folks, you need to promote. So after doing all the work, you have actually uh, outsourced the production, the inventories, all the, all the kind of stuff to uh, print on demand suppliers, you need to do the promotion. You can actually market your print on demand store in, the, in several ways. 
you can learn your target audience. You want to get on social media. You want to start an email list. This is very important. Very important. You want to optimize your store, <coughs> right? Optimization is very important, especially on Shop Shopify, because the competition, again, as I've said earlier, the competition is so high. You need to actually find a way to stand out of the to stand out of the pack. Very important. Try to ask for product reviews and use them as testimonials. You can pay for advertising if you have the budget for it, and you can ask also try to do a context or giveaway. At the end of the day, the t-shirt business is profitable because t-shirts, if you really think about it, are a staple for men, women, and children around the world. So creating a, an online t-shirt business is profitable and has low startup costs compared to other business opportunities. Now the profits might vary depending on your niche and marketing cost, but you can actually set up additional revenue stream in as little as, little as uh, 30 days or 45 days. One thing that I also need to say here is that once your business, uh, your t-shirt business is actually uh, up and running, there are a couple of things you need to do. You got to really keep doing market research. You need to find a passionate community. You need to find fans who love not only the, the niche, who love the products, who love the designs, but they they need to be engaged. You want to come up with a t-shirt company name. Very important. This is part of the branding I was telling you uh, about earlier. Besides the logo, you need to have the name. You want to, you want to actually uh, create your online t-shirt designs and you want to constantly vary the designs, constantly vary them, right? You always want to come up with new products, very punchy, very captivating products. You need to be on social media. When I was talking earlier about going on social media, I'm not just saying you need to go on social media by your, like in your personal account. No, you need to create an, a, a page. You need to create a separate page for your business and you need to link that page to your Shopify because remember the whole thing here is to create a Shopify store for your t-shirt right but you need because Shop Shopify doesn't do inventory management and t-shirt management this is why you need a print on demand provider but the whole store has to be the Shopify store the whole focus has to be the Shopify store and you also need to run paid ads for your online t-shirt business sites Again, this depends on your budget. Also trying to do a blog outreach and free promotions with influencers. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was actually talking to you quickly about how to create a Shopify store for your t-shirt. Of course, we are speaking about print on demand and uh step number one pick a niche number two you want to source quality number three you want to create designs number four you want to mock up number five you want to focus on basics number six you want to print on demand number seven you want to promote and one thing i need to say before closing here is that typically you don't need a business license to sell t-shirts online you may want to get a resale license to buy clothing from a distributor free from sales tax though so you want to check with your local county revenue or a finance department to learn more Good luck and God bless you.